Scott. Scott. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> That's the Chicago girl. Yeah. Scott. It's gonna taste like nipples. <laughs> <laughs> One can only hope. <laughs> As Tone Loke would say, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I do. I'm getting all maple. Let me give you the taste category <laughs> yeah. as I... Yeah. It's, um... I'm just like... <laughs> you definitely get the super sticky mouth. <laughs> like, on another level. Uh, it's funky, though. Like, wow. Generic. Generic. I, I knew you were going there. I get a little, <laughs> I get steamed peas and yeah. you like get the, the whiff in your direction. I, I come up with the weirdest yeah. shit. Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo, Gumbo Mud. Mud. We're here for a dark beer. And today we have from Resident Brewing in San Diego. We have morning snips. Morning, <laughs> morning. snips, nips, <laughs> dips. <laughs> morning sips. <laughs> you want to say nips? <laughs> well, morning is your ending yeah. sound. Morning sips. Morning from sips. From Resident Brewing. Yes. This is a 10.7% mm. Imperial Stout. Yes, morning sips. Uh, we had something from Resident. It was, what, it was well over a year ago um, at a restaurant, and I can't remember what it was, but it was so good. But uh, they don't put out a lot of darks. Wasn't it a collab? It might have been a collab. It was a collab, and it had like a super fun name, and we like yeah. laughed, like we laughed so hard about the name. Yeah. I wish I could remember. I know. I, I think I took a picture of the menu, but I was on my old phone. <laughs> I got a new phone. It's not on there, so I don't remember what it was. But yeah. anyway, uh, morning sips uh, sounds so good, right? Yes. So uh, yeah, I had to go downtown to pick this one up, and I know with, with all the with all the places shut down, there was there was. Uh, road closures uh one ways like it was it was a mess but anyway we yeah. got it we got it for you guys so yeah all sorts of chaos yeah um so it's um just imperial stout maple syrup vanilla beans moisture coffee 10.7 percent abv and then the actual beer description yeah i mean the they have a, it's vermont maple which mm -hmm. i mean you can't get any other maple like it's yeah. Vermont maple. Yeah, that's legit. Yeah, stamp of authenticity. That's the maple you want. Uh, Ugandan vanilla beans, mm -hmm. which would be interesting. We, I think we've had Ugandan we before, have. but we mostly get uh, from Madagascar yeah. or even uh, what was that Tunisian. Mm -hmm. So um, and then Mastra single origin Viet Vietnam Lotus coffee, which mm -hmm. I'm still don't know much about coffee, but. Sounds good. That's different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's different. We've definitely had Vermont maple. Yeah. We've had all sorts of vanilla beans. Uh, yes. We've had Ugandan. Yeah. Madagascar, Tahitian. Yeah. We've definitely had collabs with Mostra. Yes. But Vietnam Lotus Coffee, I believe that is. Yeah, and I'm sure the single origin part is is interesting too if you know mm -hmm. anything about coffee so yeah exactly yeah which we don't which we don't so yeah if you guys do <laughs> let us know <laughs> school us in exactly the comments, right? exactly yeah okay so the head brewer here is robert masterson and he has a super cool story i think it's cool yeah so he had your typical life uh wife kids a great job he's an it consultant making i would assume good money his sister Jenna and her husband Jimmy Langley gave him another uh, Christmas brew kit, right? He, this was his Christmas gift, a, a brew at home kit. Uh, he began brewing at home and it quickly became an obsession. He started entering into brewing competitions, won first place uh, with an IPA at the Pizza Port homebrew competition. First place with his friend Ryan Rayshon at Stone's 2013 home brewing wow. contest. And then a first and a third place at uh, the Carl Strauss 2014 Pro Am brewing contest. So, yeah. the guy's all over the place. Yeah. 
So uh, Jimmy Langley is a, a well-known businessman in San Diego with all sorts of connections. So he started pitching his brother's talents and uh, he came at, uh, him and his business brother partner Scott. Scott. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> That's the Chicago girl. Yeah. Scott. <laughs> Scott Dixon uh, funded his first brewery, which is now Resident Brewing. Wow. So they came up with 24 investors. Um, and this is the crazy part, which I think everybody appreciates this. Uh, Robert has still kept his day job. So he has his day job and he brews at night alongside his father, uh, who is his favorite brew assistant, which I can imagine. So they're up till, you know, one, two in the morning brewing batches. And wow. he still has his day job as an IT consultant. So And a wife and three kids. Exactly. So how do you juggle all that? I they, know. They, <laughs> the, the lone hero in this is the wife taking care of the three kids by herself while, <laughs> while Robert's off working in root beer. Exactly. I hope, I hope she is, you know, appreciated as she should be. Yeah. Like, I think they are both just, you know, yeah. completely pulling their own weight and yeah. I hope they appreciate each other and what they're bringing to the table. Cause yeah, that's, interesting. Yeah, that's not an easy. No, no, interesting story, right? Yeah. Yeah, Resident, um, if you guys have ever been there or want to know about it, it's downtown San Diego. And it's in a place called The Local. And it's a local kind of brewery pub. Uh, they serve food and everything, and it's actually part of the local. So when you mm -hmm. go down there, it's actually in this place off of Fourth Avenue uh, called the Local. It's right there, right at Broadway and Fourth. So uh, check it out, look it up. It looks really cool. Ton of beers, and then all resident resident beers too. So you said it was like really, really nice. nicely done inside too. Yeah, right? yeah, really nicely done. Yeah, really cool I place. I didn't get to go in. Like it's we're in the middle of coronavirus, yeah. so I just ran in to pick up the bottles. Yeah. But, uh, and they strictly enforce yes. the mask. <laughs> the mask, yeah. So, but it was super cool and a great place there, downtown San Diego. So, yes. yeah, can't wait to try this. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Morning nips. <laughs> As Tone Loke would say, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Morning sips. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, I follow. This is uh, one of my follow on Instagram, and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, put in my order. Like, yeah, I gotta have. I gotta try this beer. Yes, so. yes, yes. Yeah. So here we go. All right. Morning Let's sips. Mm, not as dark. No. I th maybe they make it lighter so you can like. It's not so shocking in the morning. You know what it kind right? of doesn't it kind of look like maple syrup. Yeah. To me? It really does. That's what it looks like to me. And I usually get the light maple syrup because I'm trying to watch. Do you? Yeah. Watch my calories and sugar. Yeah. So the light, at the even though light is supposed to be towards the calories. Yeah. It usually does affect the color. So. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like. Yeah, that. it looked light, and for what ten point seven. Mm -hmm. Right, it looked super light. It poured like syrupy, so mm -hmm. obviously it has Vermont maple syrup in it. Yeah. Um, like a lot of our beers that are over ten, not much head. Not much lacing, kind of heavier body, yeah. but not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I know. You know? 10.7. Yeah. We no. know it's a fresh batch. We didn't get some. No, they just brewed this. Batch and, you know. Yeah, they just brewed it and just released it. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, what do you think about appearance? Uh, it's kind of uh, different. I was expecting more for 10.7. Definitely. Yeah. Um, not quite what I expected. Uh, it definitely, I could see the thickness of it. Like it did look like it had syrup qualities. Yeah. But the color and the lack of head, the lack of lacing. Yeah. Um, you know, it kind of leaves you with that question mark. So to get started, um, I'm actually, I'm going to go with a 3.5. Wow. Like it's a little, yeah. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. What do you think? I'm, I'm right there with you. I want to yeah, give it a four, I know. and I'm talking myself out of a four. I, I want to give it a three point five because no, you can't. It, it, it looked like syrup, but like you said, it almost looked like light syrup. Exactly. Um, it wasn't very dark and not much head, not much lacing at all. So yeah, what do you what do you give it about aroma? I didn't smell anything. I did. You did? Okay. I did. It's. Yeah. I definitely. I got coffee. Did you immediately? Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> wow. Uh, it's funky, though. What are you getting? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's it's pretty much primarily coffee. Like, wow. Um, I kind of get this is... I, I come up with the weirdest yeah, shit. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I get a little... <laughs> I get steamed peas. Are if you, you ever like steam, you get the frozen bag yeah. of veggies that you just steam you peas. Put them in your microwave and they steam in the bag. <laughs> it smells like steamed peas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely getting the coffee and getting a little bit of syrup. That's what I get. It's it's a weird mixture though. It, I do. it, it has a weird mixture to it yeah. right no i get i get i get the syrup aspect the coffee is bumping but i think uh, the steamed peas is <laughs> thankfully uh dissipating i don't get steamed peas so <laughs> at all no i just get coffee and some maple syrup but you know what's funny is mm. you mentioned like it you like light maple syrup and obviously, even when you smell and taste like maple syrup, it's not as sugary. It's not as sweet. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm smelling. I'm smelling like a light. The maple's light, exactly. like a light, almost like a like generic. generic. <laughs> I, I knew you were going there. Yeah, it's not like a good a good maple syrup. It's like yeah. a some kind of generic you maple. You can afford the good stuff, so you got the yeah, cheap. It's and... a little off. And then I get coffee. But that's all I get. I don't think it smells bad. It just It's a weird... It's kind of a weird aroma. So what do you give aroma? Actually, since I gave my uh, my view on it and then you gave yours, it's smelling better yeah, as yeah. we go. Like I'm almost getting now like a, a breakfast food, a, a maple breakfast food or a okay. maple donut with coffee. Wow. So, so as it's warming a little bit. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually I'm really liking it. The the peas are gone, but man, <laughs> they were they were front and center. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe they stored this in the freezer. <laughs> you know, you, you get a black cubes. eye or you get, yeah. you get bonked in the nose and you throw some frozen veggies on it. Like it's trippy. I know. Yeah. So what are you what are you gonna give her aroma? I kind of like it now. Okay. Um, I wish I could go uh, in between 4 and 4.5 because that's kind of <laughs> what I'd like to do. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stick with a 4. Okay. Only because I did get frozen peas initially and yeah. now it's it's um, <laughs> it's grown into like a nice breakfast yeah. uh, maple pancakes or maple something with a side of coffee and yeah. you like get the the whiff in your direction so yeah i'm warming up to it so oh, 4.0 4. 4. 4. i gave it a 3.5 ah uh, i think it's above average but it's it's that generic kind of <laughs> take it, it, it's kind of off i smell the coffee and i smell mm -hmm. the maple but it it's not a good blend it's it's off a little bit for me yeah and it, I, I think it smells okay it smells good it's just not great it's just like, yeah, it's good. But yeah, so at 3.5, so go ahead and give it a taste. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Why? See, it's the I aroma know. kind of throws you off. Like is, you're, it gonna, is it going to taste generic? Or is it going to taste like peas? Mm. Is it going to taste like nipples? <laughs> <laughs> well, one can only hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. it's just, yeah, this, this, the aroma for me is just a little off. Even though I like those flavors, they're just not quite right. So what are you getting? So sweet. Yeah, it smells like it's gonna be sweet. It's super sweet. Mm. I, I like it. Okay. I really like it. Are, are you getting everything? You're getting I, the vanilla. You're getting the coffee. Yes. You're getting the yes. No peas. Uh, no frozen peas. Um, it really tastes like like a waffle doused in syrup. A good quality syrup, not a generic syrup, and a side of coffee. I don't drink coffee, but this is what I would recreate in my mind as a typical breakfast food with syrup and a side of coffee. Yeah. What do you think? It's syrupy. It's maple syrup. But it's, it's sweet. It, it tastes a lot better than the, than the aroma for, for me. For sure. Yeah, me too. Um, and it's mostly maple. So morning sips... 
Yeah, I'm not getting that much coffee. Really? I'm almost I get a the lot other. of maple. Woo, a lot. I would say it's like, I don't know, 60-40? Oh, right, all maple. Really? So oh my what God, are you, and 80, creamy. 20, 90, yeah, 10? Yeah, 80, 20 at least. Really? I'm getting all maple. It's super sticky. Super sticky, super, it actually is creamy. It's creamy. It's it's almost you know what it, it reminds me of what it looked like pouring like a light mm -hmm. maple syrup. That's what it tastes like. It's super sweet. Wow. So what do you give? What do you give taste? Woo. Well, that, that is that's a sweet beer. Woo. I think it's the sweetest beer I've ever had. Hey, do you? Yeah. Wow. It is sweet. It's funny because the aroma is still throwing me off, but the taste is it's good. But it's super sweet. Yeah. What do you um, give taste? I like it, but it's 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 just. Um, oh, it's a lot. It's yeah, it's a lot to take in. Yeah, I actually wish I would get more coffee. In. <laughs> I do. I'm getting all maple. Let me give you the taste category <laughs> yeah. as I. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna stick with a four point zero. I. I like it. It's um, it's almost like taste overload and i don't yes. know if that's good or bad yeah um it's definitely delivering yeah but it's um i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's not an everyday beer i know it's a special occasion beer and sharing one of these is good i couldn't drink a whole one of these it is so sweet and so thick it's it's almost like a celebration beer or something yeah. like that's not an everyday yeah. beer yeah i agree right? yeah yeah, I give it a four too because I, I think the taste is really, really good. But it is so rich and thick and creamy and sweet, over the top sweet, that what I have here is going to be plenty. Absolutely. And I really like it, but it's it's overwhelming mm -hmm. how sweet it is. Yeah. <laughs> and mapley for me, it's yes. so much maple. So, yeah. Okay. So, so what about texture? So despite what we saw on the pour, what looked so, so light, I yeah. actually think the texture is pretty perfect. It's pretty thick. It really is. Like it, the, the color was definitely light, right. but the mouth feel, um, it, it's really like uh, prominent and it it's coats your mouth and uh, it's kind of syrupy and you know, I think it's really nice. So I'm actually gonna give them a 4.5 on texture. <laughs> That's just what I wrote down. It is. Yeah, I gave it a 4.5 too. For, for a 10.7, yeah, it tastes like a 10, 11. It mm -hmm. could be a 12 almost. It's, yes. it's a thick beer, thick and creamy. And I don't know uh, how much Vermont maple syrup they put in. Oh boy, it tastes like they put a lot in there. <laughs> like it's it's thick. And it's yeah, yeah. You know, you almost could pour pour this over pancakes. Almost, I mm -hmm. feel like like you said, it's probably one of the sweetest beers you've ever had. I, yeah, I, I totally believe it is. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So, all but, those, but it's thick. All those beers that I was like, I wish it was a little sweeter. <laughs> I think resident you know took that into account like this one's actually almost maybe a little too sweet which yeah. i don't know that i've ever said that about anything in life and i've told you i've had some that are too sweet and you were like no nah, they're never too sweet for me right i know yeah yeah they can get super sweet yeah yeah uh if for this this pour right here is perfect yeah for me to finish this by myself yeah yeah, it's a good good bottle to share. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So on to the finish. What do you think about the finish? Uh, I think the finish is um, pretty incredible. Yeah. Despite th the smell and the stickiness on the taste and everything, like it's a completely dry, clean finish. Um, you definitely get the super sticky mouth <laughs> like on another level yeah. yeah you know it's like you need those like wet wipes i had mm -hmm. um to just get those little wet wipes yeah. in the packet you know yeah to like i could use <laughs> one of those but the, um overall it's just a really clean nice dry finish yeah the the flavors are lingering slightly, but yes. it's it's well blended, and again, it tastes like um, 
like a maple um, pastry, a maple donut, yes. or maple pancakes with what I would assume a side of coffee tastes like, not being <laughs> a coffee drinker. Yeah. So I really, I really enjoy it, and I give the finish a 4.0. 4.0? Mm-hmm. Instead of calling it morning sips, they should call it stick, sticky nipples. Because, <laughs> man, is it sticky. <laughs> Why nipples? Because uh, sips, mean, nips. <laughs> oh, nips. Nips. Sticky nips. Sticky nips, yeah. I like it. Sticky nips, yeah. Yeah, it's super sticky. Um, I'm not getting any coffee. I'm still not getting any coffee. I get all maple. Really? Yeah, I'm getting all maple. That's shocking to me. I know, because I love coffee and I get it. Yeah, most I mean, of the time. It's, it's bumping to me. Wow, that's crazy, yeah. So, but I, I'm with you. I really like the finish of this. Uh, it lingers just a little bit, but it's that sweet kind of linger. And for as sweet as it is, it doesn't linger that sweet on the finish. The mm -hmm. finish is actually nice. So it is. Yeah. So uh, I'm with you. I'm going to give it a four. Uh, okay, good. I actually, actually like it. I like to mm -hmm. finish this beer. This beer is really, really good. It's just almost too sweet. That's all. Um, the aroma, I'm still not crazy about it. Even while drinking it, the aroma just kind of still smells off a little off to me. But, Does it? But I really like the taste of it. It's just really, really sweet. So, yeah. yeah I know. So for a total, what do you give morning sips my total <laughs> is a 4.0 out of 5.0 uh to start i think the name could not be more appropriate yeah, yeah this is a sipping beer yes and if you are getting this if you get it on draft you could likely select your size but if right. you're getting it uh as we have it here to me this is a beer to share yes and to sip on and enjoy and yeah. really take in let it warm, yeah. let the oxygen release, and really take it in because yeah. um, it does have a lot of complexity and it changes from the pour, you know, to a few minutes in. Like, it's changed so much for me. Yeah. Um, the sweetest beer I've ever had to date, whether it's a review or out with yeah. friends or whatever the scenario be, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sweetest beer I've ever had. Oh, sweet. And I never thought I would say a beer is too sweet. <laughs> it, this is this is on the cusp for me. Yeah. Um, I really like it, and I I I love the amped up uh, sweetness of it, but it yeah. is bordering yeah. on being too sweet for me. So. Yeah. Anyway, in summation, four point zero <laughs> out of five point zero. Yeah. For my overall. Yeah, besides being like a morning beer you might want with your breakfast or whatever, mm -hmm. this is a great after dinner beer. Like that you would have with Definitely. A, with with ice cream or, yeah, or think, a nice little piece of cake or I think in place of Or in place of so yeah. sweet, it like is. you almost this like fulfills your sweet tooth. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Like you get a like a nice little Bailey's or something mm -hmm. after you could or or uh, Grand Marnier or something yeah. like that, you get this. Yeah, this is a great uh, I give it right at a four, 3.9. So we're both kind of right on with this one. Um, kind of for, for almost 11% beer, it just kind of looked a little light. And uh, the aroma is still kind of off for me, <laughs> but everything else, the texture's right on. Mm -hmm. uh, the taste is really, really good. And I love the finish. So it's just like, like you, it's like, it's almost too sweet. So, but this pour was perfect to share one of these bottles. I think it's perfect. And, and we'd sit around a fire or, or sit around, you know, conversating and whatever, like it's, it's a great beer. So the name is spot on, right? The name is spot Morning on. Morning sips. Yes. You are going to sip this You're going to sip this. Boy. Yeah. You're not chugging it. You're not drinking it no. fast. You're sipping it. So like, I love that, <laughs> that the name could not be more yes. fitting, more appropriate. Yes, exactly. So yeah, Gumbo Mud Review is a 3.95. So right there four. And I'm with you. I think, uh, a lot of people might come up with all these names beforehand where this one, obviously they brewed it, they tasted it and it's yes. like, yeah, you, this is a sipping beer. This is not a beer that uh, you really just chug or even drink fast, so. That's a great point. I think people yeah. come up with a beer name and they're like, let's go brew it. Yeah. They did it, maybe they did that, but then they changed the name. They brewed it and then said, let's name this bad boy. It's like you have a kid and you're like, he looks like a George. <laughs> We're gonna name him George. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and this one. 
This one was a morning sip. Yeah, even even drinking it, the stickiness is all yes. on my glass yeah. where, I'm, where I'm drinking. Like it just sticks to my lips. It's like so sticky. There's so much <laughs> sugar in it. So, so anyway, yeah, Gumbo Mud reviews at 3.95 for Resident Brewing morning sips. Go to uh, their, uh, the local there in downtown San Diego or find them online and you can order this beer. They ship, I think, all throughout California. Mm -hmm. I think maybe even Arizona. I can't remember, but definitely around California. And uh, just try to find this beer. It's a great beer. So, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this review. And click the like and share button and share it with everyone. And click the subscribe button for more dark beer reviews. And you can find us on Instagram. It's Gumbo Mud, M U D. We always put out a clip with our new <laughs> clip. Clip, we yeah. <laughs> you put a lot of clips out sometimes, a lot of photos. Yeah. I put out all sorts of crazy content. Yeah, exactly. We, anyway, we always put a post with our newest YouTube video release. Yeah. We do lots of giveaways. We have uh, Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, all sorts of good stuff. So check that out, and we can't wait to see you again on yeah, our channel. Exactly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next review. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye.